Okay, good morning, students. We are on to mathematics today, and um, this is mathematics for grade eight. And it's we're considering the topic bearing and distance. We've had one one um, engagement so far, and this will be the second engagement. Uh, when we're talking about bearing, we're talking about direction. And um, I remember in my last class, the, the the example I cited was from the movie. Pirates of the Caribbean by uh, uh, Johnny Depp, featuring as Captain Jack Sparrow. He was always having a device. That device is called the compass. The compass. And the compass essentially is a device that shows direction as a function of, a, of an established north position. So once you know where your north is pointing to, you can tell, you can tell where your west will be, where your south will be. So if, for instance, if I hold my compass and it's showing, pointing in this direction as north, I know that my right-hand side is going to be what? So this direction is going to be, okay, depending on how you're looking at the camera now, so this direction it will be east, then west, then backwards will be south. So that is essentially what the compass does to give you direction in terms of bearing. Now, there's also the distance. Now, the direction, maybe I should use the board. The direction is also a function of a certain distance. So, because the reason why we talk about the bearing is that we want to get to a certain destination, and that is what? Distance. Remember, we said from our elementary knowledge of line that the line is the distance between what? Two points. So that's by way of introducing the subject matter. And our text of reference is still the New General Mathematics Book 2, uh, GSS 2. So we'll go to bearing now, and then we would um, take it up from, we'll take it up from there. All right, if you have your textbook, that is on page 212, chapter 24, 212 and page uh, 212 and then chapter 24. We've done, we've done some good jobs so far and then um, today we would kick start by looking at compass bearing. So we'll start today by looking at what is called compass bearing. That you can find on page 213 of your textbook. Compass bearing. Compass. Bearing. Compass bearing. That you can find on page 230 of your textbook. By way of uh, recapping what we did last time, remember we said that if I have this north, east, west, south. So what you call news is actually the different directions in which you will get gotten information from. We did something like this that same day, and we made to understand that this is northeast, this is what, southeast, this is what, southwest, south moving towards west, south moving towards east, north moving towards east, and north moving towards west. So this would be northwest. And we said that the angular separation between each one is what, 45, 45 degrees. I hope we are all together on that. All right. Okay. Now we come to compass bearing. The concept of compass bearing is to show two compasses at point A and B. So compass bearing. We are comparing two points, and we are trying to relate their bearings one from the other. And here, if I mark this this way, now watch this, please. Please, I need you to be very active. I need you to have your drawing materials with you. You really need to be very very active. Now, if I call this A and I call this B, and I draw a line like this, there are two bearings you can get. Two bearings you can get. You can have what is called the bearing of A from B, and you can also get the bearing of B from A. 
Can we write that quickly? Because <laughs> this is where there is work. I'll go to English language now. If I say move to this place from, the word from suggests where you are to start from. So if they say the bearing of A from B, we start from B. So start here. If you are told the bearing of B from A, we start here. So let that one sink, because these are, these are some of the areas that throw students off balance when it comes to this topic. They find it difficult to understand. I had that issue when I was in um, secondary school. When you talk of from, I'm wondering where. The bearing of A from B means start from B, start here. The bearing of B from A means start from where? A, from suggests where you are to start from. From suggests where? Where you are to start from. So if you are to find the bearing of A from B, if we start here, huh? are we watching? Start here. And then in reading your angle, you read like this from the north. And that's the bearing of. So all this angle here, in reading in a clockwise direction, will be the bearing of A from B. So I'll go to the other part of my board and I'm going to draw them one after the other and try to differentiate how each one is done. So let's take the first one, the bearing of A from B. What would it look like? Now, if you say the bearing of A from B, it means this is the reference point. So the bearing will be all of this angle here. Now, if they now ask you, that's for this one. That's the bearing of A from B. Let me close this part out. Now, the bearing of B from A, the bearing of B from A, The bearing of B from A. This time around, the reference will now be here. Because they say from A. Reference will now be what? Here. So what do you do? You will now read. Now, what we're reading, we start from not clockwise. So you read, maybe I should note that one down. Um, in compass bearing, Comma, we read not clockwise. So take note of that. In compass bearing, we do what? We read not clockwise. So all the things we read is always not clockwise. So if you look at it, the bearing of B from A will be what? You read in this direction. So you're going to read from not, start from not. Not is always a start off point and then you read clockwise. So let's do a recap of all I have said so far. I want to look for the bearing of, I want to look for the bearing of A from B. The reference point will be B, and then to read that, I'm gonna read the angle from B, and I'm gonna read not clockwise till I get to the line, till I get to the line where this, to get where this line cuts joins A and what B. So that's that for that. 
I'm going to allow us to copy that quickly and then we'll take more examples and get clarification on them. B. We will now go to exercise 24B. And it said that in each part of figure 24.6, state the bearing of B from A. Please, let's not, let's not get distracted with the kind of diagram drawn there. I'm going to redraw some of these diagrams and draw them in simple line, simple line diagrams so that you don't get carried away with all those effigies there. Exercise 24B, question one. See what you have. Just a straight line. That's what you have. Leave all those effigies you have there. Mm -hmm. Leave all those effigies you have there. And you have this as B, you have this as A. Mm -hmm. This is a knot for this one, and this is a knot for this one. Now, the question is now look at the diagram and tell me what's now bearing of A from B. Tell me what it is, and then tell me the bearing of B from A. All right, so that's the first one. I'm going to draw them all on the board now. So draw them all. Let's continue. All right, look at number one. It says the bearing of the bearing of A from B. The bearing of A from B. This one you are going to measure from. The bearing of A from B. So this is where you're going to do your references from. So you, you measure. And that will be what? South or simply what? So the bearing of So by this, the bearing will simply be what? South or what? 180 degrees. So the bearing, I'm almost combining both together. So the bearing, if you look at it, this is where it occurs. It's occurring in its what? South. So the bearing is what? South or what? 180 degrees. Now, let's look at the bearing of B from A. What would it be? It would be start knot, read clockwise. And it's on the knot. Look at it. B is knot of A. So it would be what? Knot or what? 360 degrees. I'll come again. The bearing of A from B, reading from B, if you see that position is downwards. What position is that? That is south. Or what? 180 degrees. That's the movement I need. What's the bearing of B from A? Reference is A. And how do I see B? B is on top of me. So it's going to be what? Not. It's going to be what? Not. Aha. Uh -huh. So that would be not. And as such, the bearing is what? Not or 360 degrees. Let's go to question two. The bearing of A from B. B becomes my reference point. And how do I see A? A is on my left hand side and that is west so the bearing is simply what west or what i would have moved what all of this angle to this point and that's what 270 degrees let's look at this one what is the bearing of b from a how do i see b i need to look at i need to look at my right I'm looking at my right, and that will be what? East. It's east. Eastwards. Or what? I'll read like this. And that will be what? 90 degrees. If you look at your diagram in the book, if you look at the diagram in the book, 
If I look at the book, I need to bring the book closer so you see something. You notice that there is a separation between each of them. Look at it. That's something like this. What you have in your book is something like this. Huh? Now, this is 0, 45, 90. Huh? So this is north, this is east, this is south, this is west. Are we seeing that? I hope you are watching that. Now, this is southeast, this is southwest, this is northwest, and this is north. Do you understand? That's what was drawn in your book. So if you look at this one, this is at the northeast position. And if you look at it from this direction, this is at the southwest position. So from this, it is looking northeast. From here, it is looking at what? Southwest. So take note of that. That's a new idea they want you to see here. Right? If that is gotten right, if that is gotten right, if that is gotten right, the next thing you need to do now is look at what is the bearing of A from B? The bearing of A from B. It means the reference is what? B. So I look at B. This is where B is. How do I see A? Where do I see A? I'm not seeing A this way. I'm not seeing A on top. I'm not seeing A beneath. But I'm supposed to see A in this direction. I hope you are seeing it. I'm seeing A in this direction. And this is what? Northeast. So look at it. Northeast. That's it. It's in the northeast direction of. Right. So this would be what? Northeast or what? Or what? Look at it. Northeast or 45 degrees. Now, they say the bearing of B from A. Now, for this one, I will come to this is where the position is. Now, for the second one, the focus is on A. I'm not seeing it here. I'm not seeing it here. I'm not seeing it here. No, it, it's practical. Try it at all. Am I seeing B this way? No. Am I seeing B on top? No. Am I seeing B beneath? No. But if I look at it from this direction, I'm seeing B here. What direction is that? It is southwest. I see it. So that would be equal to what? Southwest. I see it in that direction. I seen it in that direction. Okay. This is east. This is west. This is southeast. This is northeast. This is northwest. This is southwest. Right, so that's not all. This is what? Zero degrees. This is what? 45. This is what? 90 degrees. This is what? Uh, 135. You just keep adding 45. Each of these division is 45 degrees. Each of them is 45 degrees. This is what? 180. This is what? 225. This is what? 270. This is what, 315. Just keep adding 45 degrees, and this takes you back to 360. So just keep adding 45 degrees to each of these divisions, and you're going around. Pay close attention to this, because this is the most important information when it comes to bearing. This will help you to understand bearing very well.